Yesteryear as an Energy Void Adaptive Frame 390 RPM Pulse Rifle, obtainable as a Gambit reward through playing Gambit and ranking up at the Drifter. On top of this, this weapon just got buffed with a recent change to Adaptive Pulse Rifles, with Bungie increasing their precision multiplier from 1.6 to 1.65, increasing the crit damage from 30.4 to 31.4, essentially meaning that you can two burst any Guardian up to four resilience with a 0.60 TTK, and although that's a great benefit in PvP, it's also going to make this weapon a lot more viable in PvE because you're going to be outputting a lot more damage. So in today's video, I'm going to be covering both the PvE and PvP god rolls to consider, so without further delay, let's dive right in. So starting off with the PvE god roll in column 4, the first perk I'm going to recommend going with here is good old fashioned Rampage. While there's a lot of great perk options in this column, for a pulse rifle I feel Rampage is actually a really good option because you're going to get that consistent damage output as you take down enemies and each kill will refresh your timer. So as long as you're killing things, you should be able to keep this buff up and active and it can give you up to 33.1% damage which is kill clip level of damage which is really not hard to proc and keep going, especially since you're going to be using this for ad clearing. Now the next best option in my opinion is the perk Golden Tricorn. Just by getting kills, you're going to get 15% bonus damage that lasts for 7 seconds, which is almost twice as long as Rampage. And the best part is if you're able to get a melee or grenade kill, that's going to bring your damage up to a whopping 50% for 10 seconds. Some of you may wonder why I didn't choose this over Rampage, and the main reason is because this is a pulse rifle, you're not going to be as close to enemies all the time as you would with something like an SMG. So proccing that bonus 50% damage might not happen as often, whereas with Rampage, you're going to consistently be able to hit that three stacks as long as you're killing things. Another great option to consider here is Desperado. This is one of the few pulse rifles besides the Messenger that can roll with this perk. Just by reloading within six seconds of getting a precision kill, you're essentially going to get an increase to your overall rate of fire by around 25% for six seconds, which is going to make it almost act like a damage buff because you're going to be putting more damage out faster. And while we don't have any official numbers on how much extra damage you're getting, it's estimated to be close to or around 20%, definitely making this an option worth considering. And one last perk to consider in this column is the perk Dragonfly. If you're running a void subclass, this is a great option as void elemental damage is going to synergize really nice with void 3.0. Just by getting a precision kill, it's going to create an elemental explosion up to a 3 meter radius. On top of this, with Bungie folding the Dragonfly mod into the regular Dragonfly perk in the future, that's going to increase that radius to a 4.5 meters, as well as increasing the explosive damage by 50%. Moving on to column 2, I would go with the perk Subsistence here, which is going to refresh 10% of your magazine on a kill. This pairs perfectly with Rampage in column 4. As we're getting kills and proccing more damage, Subsistence is going to help give us some ammo back, helping us to keep rampage proc longer and having to reload less often. Now if you're not able to get a drop with subsistence or you're just not a fan of subsistence, another great alternative option is Ambitious Assassin. Based on the amount of rapid kills you get, it's going to give you a 20% increased magazine capacity per kill. Now on paper, Ambitious Assassin looks like the better option, but there's a little bit of a trade-off here. The main difference between these two being with Ambitious Assassin, you have to reload in order to proc this, whereas subsistence, just by getting kills, Kills, you're going to be reloading your magazine as you go. So it's really going to be up to you which one you think is better. Now, if for whatever reason you're not a fan of either of these perks and you just want a faster reload speed, Outlaw is always a great option to pair with Rampage. It's going to max out your reload speed by giving you a plus 70 to reload, making the reload speed on this feel lightning fast, letting you get back to clearing ads and proccing Rampage. And one other option to consider here is Perpetual Motion. This is an extremely passive perk just by moving around at two stacks, you're going to get a nice plus 15 to stability, handling, and reload speed, which will make this weapon overall feel more consistent. Moving on to column two, I would go with the perk Ricochet Rounds, which is going to give us a nice plus 10 to stability and a plus 5 to range. This will help us to be more consistent at landing our crit shots, taking down enemies faster, and it's also a great option if you're on controller, as it's going to help you better control this weapon. Now, if you don't care about more stability and you prefer reload speed, you could instead go with something like like Flared Magwell, which will give us a plus 15 to reload and a plus 
plus five to stability. And finally for column one, I'm gonna recommend going with arrowhead break here. Since the recoil on this weapon is really bad at a 50, this is gonna help bring our recoil direction up to 80 and give us a plus 10 to handling. And finally for the masterwork, I recommend going with stability here. You could go with handling instead or even reload speed. I do not recommend going for range as you're only gonna get one extra meter, which is really not gonna make that much of a difference. And as for the mod, I recommend going with counterbalance, which is gonna bring our recoil from an 80 up to a 95, helping us to be more accurate and consistent with our shots. If you're not too worried about recoil though, you instead could go with something like minor spec mod. It's really up to you. So just to recap, the PVE god roll in column four, rampage, column three, subsistence, column two, ricochet rounds, column one, arrowhead break with the stability masterwork and a counterbalance mod. Moving on to the PVP god roll, something to keep in mind here is Bungie just recently buffed adaptive frame pulse rifles, bringing their crit damage from 30 up to a 31.4, which now allows them to two burst with six crits up to a four resilient guardian, essentially taking its TTK from a 0.93 to 0.60, which is a pretty insane buff. Granted, that's only going to work on guardians up to four resilience. The good news is with the damage perks on this weapon and the recommendation I'm gonna give you here, you're gonna be able to two burst no matter what level of resilience your opponent is at. And that's why the first perk I'm going to recommend going with here is the perk Golden Tricorn. This is easily one of the most underrated perks in Destiny 2 right now, not just in PvE, but also in PvP, because unlike most damage perks, it lasts a whopping 7 seconds, and just by getting a kill, you're going to get a 15% damage bonus that can be refreshed on your very next kill, meaning in theory, you could keep this damage buff up for a long time. On top of that, if you're able to get a melee kill or grenade kill while this perk is active, it's going to buff your damage even more up to 50%, which is just insane and is going to allow you to just tear through your opponents like nothing. As mentioned earlier though, just with the 15% damage buff, you're going to be able to easily two burst any guardian at any resilience level, making this, in my opinion, the best perk option to go with. Now you can achieve a similar results with perks like Rampage times 2, which is going to give you 21% damage bonus that lasts for 3 points five seconds, as well as multi-kill clep, which at one stack is going to give you 17% damage. Another option to definitely consider here is Desperado. This has become a very popular perk because only one other weapon, the Messenger Pulse Rifle, can roll with this perk, and with it increasing your rate of fire up to around 25%, it's almost going to act like a damage perk, being equivalent to something like Rampage times 2 or even Golden Tricorn. So if you're not able to get either of those perks, this is definitely a great alternative alternative option, and for some of you, you might even prefer this over those damage perks that I mentioned earlier. Moving on to column two, I'm going to recommend going with the perk Perpetual Motion. Since you're playing PvP and you're going to be moving around constantly, this is a great perk that's very passive, and at two stacks by moving around consistently, we're going to get a nice plus 15 to stability, handling, and reload speed, which will really help out this weapon to be more consistent and essentially give us a free passive buff to our stats. Now, if you care more about your your reload speed, you could instead go with the classic Outlaw, which when active will max out your reload speed at 100, as well as giving you a 0.9 multiplier for 6 seconds. Moving on to column two, I would again go with the perk ricochet rounds here. This is gonna give us a nice plus five to range and plus 10 to stability with that extra stability, not only helping us to be more consistent with our shot, but also helping with flinch resistance. And finally for column one, I would go with arrowhead break, which will bring our recoil up to an 80, as well as giving us a plus 10 to handling. And finally for the masterwork, I would go for stability. Since this is a pulse rifle and our shots are gonna be bursts, the more stability we can have, the better better as it's going to help us stay more consistent with landing our crits. And finally for the mod, I would go with counterbalance mod, which is going to bring our recoil from an 80 up to a 95, helping us to be much more accurate and consistent with our shot. So just to recap, the PVP god roll in column 4, golden tricorn. Column 3, perpetual motion. Column 2, ricochet rounds. Column 1, arrowhead break with a stability masterwork and a counterbalance mod. Well, that's going to wrap it up today, Guardians. Thank you so much for tuning in. As always, if you found this video helpful, be sure to smash that like button as it helps me out on the channel. And if you're new here and you want to see more videos like this, subscribe and tap that bell button so you won't miss future videos. Thanks again, and I will catch you guardians later.